take the next question. I am marking this question. Let us read what is given here. A solid shaft of 100 mm diameter, 2 meter long, is subjected to a torque of 8000 newton meter. Calculate the maximum shear stress and angle of twist. Next, if central 1 meter length of shaft is reduced to 60 mm diameter and same torque is applied, comma, what would be the change in shear stress and angle of twist? Take modulus of rigidity is equal to 80 GPA. Now, this is the question which we have. Let us write the data for this question. It is given a solid shaft is there. So, I will write the type of shaft. A solid shaft of 100 mm diameter, 2 meter long, is subjected to a torque of 8000 newton meter. Calculate the maximum shear stress and angle of twist. We have to calculate how much is Fs value and angle of twist. The next part of the question is, if central 1 meter length of the shaft is reduced to 60 mm diameter and same torque is applied, what would be the change in shear stress and angle of twist? Take capital G modulus of rigidity as 80 GPA. So, it is 80 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per millimeter square. What we will do here? First, I will solve the first part of the question. That is, I will calculate maximum shear stress and angle of twist and then I would be going on to the second part. So, whatever is given here based on this, we will start with the solution. The first question is, we have to calculate how much is the shear stress in the solid shaft. So, I will say that since shear stress is asked, so I will use the formula based on strength criteria. The formula is T by J is equal to Fs by R therefore your torque is given as 8000 into 10 raised to 3 Newton mm the value of J it is pi by 32 diameter is to 4 diameter is 100 mm is equal to Fs upon R, R is D by 2, so diameter is 400, 400 by 2. From this, if I calculate, I would be getting the shear stress value as 40.74 Newton per mm square. This will be the first answer. Next, the second thing is, to calculate the angle of twist, for that I would be using the rigidity criteria. So, here I have the formula T by J is equal to G theta by L. Torque is given in the question as 800 into 10 raised to 3. j is pi by 32 100 raised to 4 because the diameter is 100 modulus of rigidity it is 80 into 10 raised to 3 theta is the angle of twist which we have to calculate length of the shaft is 2 meters so that comes out to be 2000 mm Therefore, if I shift 
all the terms that on one side and keep theta on the other side, I would be getting my answer of theta as 0 0.02 radian. My second answer. Now, as we see the first part of the question, in that the question was to calculate maximum shear stress and angle of twist. So, we have calculated both of them. Now, we will read the second part of the question. The second part says that if central 1 meter length of shaft is reduced to 60 mm diameter, the original diameter of the shaft is 100. Next, we have to reduce for center 1 meter length the diameter to 60 mm. The torque is same. What will be the change in shear stress and angle of twist? Means for this second condition also, we have to calculate the value of Fs and angle of twist. So now, whatever they have given in the second part, I'll explain it to you all in the form of a diagram. Now, the length of this shaft is 2 meters. In the question, they are saying that for the center 1 meter length, the diameter is reduced It is reduced to 60 mm. So, at first, the diameter of the enlarged portion, this would be, as given in the question, it is 100 mm. Now, for 1 meter center portion, the diameter is 60 mm. And for this condition, we have to calculate the values of Fs, shear stress and the value of total angle of twist. Since when the diameter was 100 mm, we already have the shear stress value for this portion. Now, I will, be I will be calculating the shear stress for this reduced portion. I'll say that based on strength criteria, because we need to find out shear stress. Based on strength criteria, we have T by J is equal to Fs by R. Therefore, T is 8000 into 10 raised to 3. J value will be for this 60 mm diameter portion. J is pi by 32. Diameter is to 4. Your diameter is 60. Is equal to Fs. I will keep it as it is because that is what we have to calculate. Radius is 60 by 2. So, from this if I calculate shift all the numbers on one side. Keep Fs on one side. I would be getting my answer of shear stress as. Fs comes out to be 188.68 Newton per millimeter square. That's my third answer. So, as it is very much clear from this that previously when the diameter was 100 mm, shear stress value was 40.74 Newton per mm square. Now, since the diameter is reduced, shear stress value increases and that is 188.68 Newton per mm square. Next, we have found out the shear stress. After that, we have to calculate the value of angle of twist. This shaft is like a shaft in series where we are having various diameters in series and the torque is applied at the end. Torque value is 8000 into 10 raised to 3 Newton millimeter. Because of this torque, the shaft is subjected to twisting. 
I'll say that this is portion A B, next portion C D, and then portion C to D. So here we have I have divided this shaft into three parts A B B C and C D. I will need to calculate your total angle of twist. Therefore, total angle of twist theta is equal to theta in AB portion plus theta in BC portion plus theta in CD portion. Therefore, theta is equal to for AB portion theta is given by since I can say that T by J is equal to G theta by L. So therefore theta will be equal to T into L upon G J. So for AB portion I will write this as T into L upon G J. For BC also it would be T into L upon G J. And for CD is also T into L upon GG. Therefore, theta will be equal to here the torque applied is same and even the material is same throughout. So I can take torque common and modulus of rigidity as common. Inside the bracket, I have length in AB portion upon the J value for AB plus length of BC portion upon J value for BC plus length in CD portion upon J value for CD. So therefore, theta will be equal to, your torque is given, it is 8000 into 10 raised to 3, modulus of rigidity, That is 80 into 10 raised to 3. Length of AB. This AB portion is having length of 0 0.5 meter. And same is for CD portion 0 0.5 meter. So the length is 500 mm for AB. J value for AB. That was the original diameter when it was 100. So that J value is 9.82. It was 9.82 into 10 raised to 6 plus length of portion BC. It is the central portion having length of 1 meter. So that becomes 1000 mm. upon J for BC portion that is polar moment of inertia and that was we have calculated it was pi by 32 60 raised to 4 and that was 1.27 into 10 raised to 6 plus length of CD portion is also 500 and J value is same. So from this, if I calculate, I would be getting the total angle of twist theta as 0.02 radians. And next, if I multiply this by 180 and divide this by pi, I would be getting theta in terms of degree. And my answer is 1.17 degree. That's answer number 4. So here... As we see in this question, it was divided into two parts. First, we have to calculate the shear stress and angle of twist that we have already calculated. In the second part, the length for one meter central length, the diameter was reduced and they were telling us to calculate shear stress and angle of twist. We have calculated these terms and with this, we complete the problem.